Welcome to the Sherlock Driver App Training video. This video covers the basics of getting started on a Sherlock mobile device. You will learn how to do jobs and various features of the Driver App. When you turn on your device, click on the Sherlock Driver App icon on the home screen dashboard. You'll be automatically logged in. Once you're online, you'll start to receive jobs. This is the main screen you see when you log into the Driver app. The screen shows that you're available for work and displays your position on the map here. At the top of the screen, you'll see your current status in the left-hand corner. It is currently online and it will be updated throughout the workflow. Underneath, you've got your Driver call sign. On the top right-hand side of the screen, there is a series of icons which includes the Emergency button. Use it to contact the office in case of a genuine emergency. Chat button, where you can message the control room. Jobs button, which shows your past and future jobs which you are supposed to be allocated to. And exit button. Tap it if you want to finish your shift and leave the app. If you open the menu on the side, you'll access a whole range of options. You can request a callback from control. Switch your status to on break, to stop getting jobs if you want to have lunch or need some rest or switch to going home if you want to get a job in the direction of your home. Here you can see the rank zones option. If you want to see all available plots tap rank zones. If there are plots in the system you will be automatically plotted to a rank zone when the GPS recognises that you have entered the area. The Pre-book heat zones option gives you an idea of where upcoming pre-book jobs are as well as the location of other drivers to help you plot for your next job. In the pre-book heat zones menu there are four tabs. The first tab shows zones in alphabetical order. On the second tab zones are ordered by number of drivers in each zone. Here zones are ordered by number of pre-book jobs in each zone. And finally the zones are ordered in distance from your current location. There is special highlighting used on this screen. Yellow highlighted zones show that there are pre-booked jobs available. Whereas zones highlighted in green are even better because these zones have more jobs than drivers available. Zones without jobs are not highlighted. You can save your favourite regions by pressing the star. Favourite pre-booked heat zones will be displayed at the top of the list the next time you open the screen. By pressing a zone, you will see its visual outline on the map and also the location of drivers and pickup points of available jobs. For quick access to pre-book heat zones, you can also use the small round icon in the bottom right hand corner of the main screen. On the Bids screen, you can see all jobs on standby which will be explained in more detail later on in this video. Now let's take a look at the real workflow which you will follow on the app once you receive a job request. When you see a new job, you will hear a sound notification. And this screen will appear, showing you the estimated time of arrival, distance to the pickup, and street name of the pickup address. You have up to 30 seconds to accept the trip before it is unallocated and given to another driver. Press and hold the red Accept Job button to accept the job request and see job details. Once you've accepted the job, you will see all relevant information about the job, including pickup time, job contacts name and phone number, pickup and drop off addresses, and finally, the estimated fare. After accepting the job, your status in the top left hand corner will automatically change from online to on way, and you need to start moving as the customer has been notified that you are on the way to the pickup. Press show map to switch to the map view you will see a suggested route from your location to the pickup point. The countdown timer in the top left hand side of the map shows the time left before the pickup time. In this side menu, the options will update and now you can access Google Map Navigation by pressing Navigate 2. The window will open with Google Maps and you will be guided to the pickup address. To get back to the app, keep pressing the Back button on your device. When you arrive at the pickup address, press and hold at Pickup. The customer will receive a call back from the office and a text message notification to say you have arrived. If the customer is late, waiting time will be calculated automatically in the app. When the passenger gets into the car, 
press and hold the POB passenger on board button. Your status in the top left hand corner of the screen will be updated. As soon as the passenger is on board and you have pressed POB, you will be taken to the map screen and again you can use the navigate to option in the side menu to drive to the destination. On your way to the drop off address, the customer may ask you to make an intermediate stop. For example, the passenger may wish to stop off at a cash machine on the way. In this instance, press stop and wait on the job details screen. The system determines the address of your current location and starts to calculate waiting time automatically. When the passenger gets back to the car, press and hold the resume journey button. The intermediate stop will be added to the job details and the price will be updated automatically. When you have arrived at the destination, press and hold the at drop off button. As soon as you have taken payment from the customer, press finish. In some cases, you may be asked to enter a meter price. Enter the price calculated by your car taxi meter and tap OK. Tap finish job to finish the current job and return to the default map screen until you get your next job. In addition to regular jobs, you may receive a job offer. When there are not enough drivers close to the pickup, the system may send offers to drivers located near the pickup area. In this instance, you will see this screen along with all job details. Please note that a job offer is optional, so you can decline it without any consequences. If you want to do the job, please remember that you have limited time to press accept. When the system confirms that the job has been allocated to you, follow the regular workflow to do the job. If you do not have a job, you can select one from the bid screen if there is one available. Tap the Bids option in the side menu or press the fire icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to see a list of available jobs. On the Bids screen, you can see a distance to the pickup, time to the job, a journey distance and a price for each job. Bids are ordered by distance to the pickup and job date. Bids with the closest distance to the pickup are displayed at the top of the list. Tap the job you want to do and press bid. Please note that if you do not bid for the job quickly enough, it may be taken by another driver. When the bid allocation is confirmed by the system, do the job as usual. Finally, there are just some things to remember when you're using the app. To be able to do jobs, the driver app must be kept open and your status must be online. Log in at the beginning of your shift and log off when your shift is over so the system doesn't continue to send you jobs. Keep Wi-Fi connection off and mobile data on. GPS must be switched on. Keep your device connected to a car charger all the time as the app is energy consuming. If there is ever a problem with logging in or any other issue you cannot deal with, call the office for help. Thank you for watching.